question is from JYB9. <clears throat> Knowing what you know today, is there anything you would go back and change in your first three programs? Ooh. Uh, the, uh, I kind of like that question. I do because there's one that comes to mind because we just had this discussion off air yesterday or day before yesterday. <laughs> Uh, in the MAPS anabolic program um, in there, and Sal had to like really explain what he means by it because I think people misinterpret it or do it incorrectly, and that is touch-and-go deadlifts. And it's not because uh, I don't think any of us value touch-and-go deadlifts. I think I, I've done I, – I do occasional touch-and-go deadlifts. I just think – Considering that we, we we speak of MAPS Anabolic as our foundation pro, foundational program, a majority of people uh, that are first getting involved in our programs probably start there. A touch-and-go deadlift is probably a little more advanced for the average person. So that's the only that's the only thing that I feel that comes to mind. We had it, to we had to I think didn't we lower the reps on one yeah. of the lunge was, matrix? Oh yeah, yeah. I was, yeah, was, was going to bring that up. Yeah, that we actually did go back and revise that and uh, you know change because <laughs> I mean initially it was about like volume and so like we're thinking about what was reasonable and actually going through it and like calculating out left versus right leg and seeing how much uh, actual like volume of lunges that was it was a little bit excessive. Uh, so we were getting a lot of feedback from that from your average person that that was just like, you know, kind of an overwhelming amount. And so, you know, we recognize that it's like, oh, yeah, OK, like for, like for some people, lunges aren't really that difficult. And for somebody coming from just pretty much a front and back, like linear type, uh, you know, type of programming where you're doing everything in front of you, like, uh, you know, everything is, is bilateral and then taking them into different planes. It, I mean, that transition itself was a very drastic change for a lot of people. So it's like, okay, we have to acknowledge that. And that new stimulus is going to be like exhaustive, you know? And so, yeah, we did change the, the rep count for that. So we lowered it a bit and then, you know, people could, could sort we, of, we, every, when we went back and we did read, I mean, we've reiterated them now a couple of times. Yeah, so. And we don't, we don't really change. We haven't changed the workouts too much. There's been like a couple things. Look, here, here's the thing. As a good trainer, you have to take feedback and consider it always. <clears throat> yeah. Now for the most part, the workouts are almost identical to when we first put them out, but there's a couple you know, changes here and there because we, we got feedback. We got thousands of people that are following these programs. Now here's the deal. Training people in person and writing a program to be used online is a little different, isn't it? Like two different monsters. It is. So there's, there's certain things that I might have put, for example, touch and go deadlifts. You know, they're in MAPS anabolic, but when I would teach them, I'm watching the client. Mm -hmm. As I'm getting feedback from people, I'm realizing I can't watch all these people that are doing it. And so there's some very good points being made that we're probably going to change that. Another one is rest periods. Here's another one. Mm -hmm. Like we put in prescribed rest periods in some of our programs, but I'm getting a lot of feedback from people who are like, oh, you know, I'm resting for, for a long time and the workouts are taking a long time and shorter. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, you know, there's a lot of individual variants when it comes to rest periods with, with clients. Mm -hmm. And so it might be better to be a little bit more general to say more like shorter rest periods, longer rest periods, rather than saying you have to rest for three minutes or more type of deal. But I mean, I, I mean, we're really yeah. going in and like well, being splitting hairs. And, and for the most part, if, if we had to go back and reiterate very much, then we're probably not very good at what we're doing. Like, yeah. I mean, that's part of what I think makes the, the, the three of us combined because we're different, because we have so much experience with so many different types of clients. I mean, man, when we write these things, it's not like we sit down and go, I can sit down and write a fucking, you know, four day, five day a week program for the next 16 weeks, like in 15 minutes, if I just wanted to rip it out. But we, we go back and forth over a lot it's of this. It's a two day process of just writing yeah. the workout. And, and it's this type of stuff. Like we try to foresee like, oh, well, what if we have a client that's like this? Or, oh, I've had people that give me this feedback. And so there's, there's a lot of that, you know, debating mm -hmm. back and forth with each other. And there was things that were in programs that got pulled out or so, I mean, I mean, I would hope that we wouldn't have to reiterate too much, but those two things, and those are like really simple. It doesn't mean that they're, they're bad or necessarily need to be changed. It's that we've taken into consideration now that thousands of people have done it. It's like, oh, we probably could have worded that different. I mean, uh, one of the things we even noticed too, like we we do little things like like the blueprints and stuff, and how just easier to read. Yeah, easier for people to understand and read and use. And so yeah. I, we're we're more concerned. I think the programming, I think, is pretty fucking rock solid. Yes, yeah, the and usability, the we UI. Is yeah, we improve. want that to be like the the cleanest and, and most straightforward that we can. And so we're always coming back and and evaluating that and getting feedback from people in our forum and uh, you know just trying to to make sure that 
that we're always keeping that fresh and and something that uh, you know people can can just like almost ready set go and push a button. Mm. We, we, well, the, the look of the programs have changed a lot. That's for oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, when we first started this company, we we would pump these programs out and and have ourselves demonstrating the movements and we were on a you know tight budget and yeah. and time and you know there's videos of of us yeah. demoing, you know maps anywhere we we, we filmed it we filmed yeah. it all in a house yeah. so yeah. we're demonstrating all the exercises on that I, I, I laid on the couch one time while you were doing like dragon flags yeah to keep, the, to keep yeah. The, the couch from flipping up or <laughs> adam at what there was at yeah. one point we forgot to film it like, looked four like a exercises. porn set yeah, I mean, what, yeah. what were we doing there were like four exercises we forgot to film and yes. so we had to like pull over doug pulled over the park, park yeah, yeah. And Adam doug did. is going oh, this was coming back from maps anywhere i actually did a post on my instagram about this so you can go back and i think it, basically my post i think i'm talking about people not getting uh, paralysis by analysis right and just getting getting something out there and then reiterating as you go and that this was an example of that like maps anywhere we just you know we shot we rented a vrbo and we, we were definitely on a budget even then it's not like we even rented like a really nice vrbo we got like an okay <laughs> house right so it's right. like not really not really aesthetically pleasing on the, the video so doug shoots that doug as we're driving back home from i think it was sacramento is where we did that place and and doug's like going through the blueprint he's like oh shit we forgot these four exercises we're like well here pull there's over a this playground yeah there's a playground let's pull over the park <laughs> I've got my fucking, you know, I don't know what sunglass. I'm wearing some dark sunglasses. And <laughs> you my, look like a biker. Yeah, dude. You had a big I started doing jump yeah. rope. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, so, yeah. yeah. That's, but, the, that, yeah. that's the biggest things that we've changed. Yeah, so they look a lot better. Yeah, we changed uh, We changed a lot. But, you know, the, the meat and the potatoes of what, what's in the program, it's it's like uh, we I talk about, I think I even referred to this in, the, in that post, is, you know, uh, we spent a lot of time building the engine, you know, mm -hmm. building the engine of this stuff and the, the, the real meat of this. And now, now we've, you know, we're new paint and spoiler and, mm -hmm. you know, make make the car look cool now. But it originally... Uh, it was we put, fast as hell back then. Yes, yeah, right. It was, it was badass <laughs> back then as far as its performance. You know, it was great. And now we've got Now it back. looks fast too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Next question.